Hello and welcome to Small Seeds and welcome back to my herboratory. In today's video, I will be showing you how simple it is to craft an herbal salve using herb infused oils and beeswax. The ratio of beeswax to oil we use is a recipe that can be used for any type of salve, but today I am making a first aid salve that will be used for minor wounds, burns, bug bites, and other minor skin irritations. And for these specific skin issues, I am using self-heal infused coconut oil and some plantain and yarrow infused olive oil. So for any jars, containers, and utensil you are using in this process, make sure they are thoroughly cleaned and completely dried. And it is best to sterilize the jars that you will put your finished salve in before getting started. All right, so let's do it. Let's make this salve. It's a lot quicker and easier than you may think. You start off by turning the heat to the lowest setting. You need it to be hot enough to melt the wax, but you don't want it to be too hot because you run the risk of overheating your oils and losing some of those beneficial properties. I am making a small batch for personal use, so I am just using one ounce of beeswax and four ounces of my herb infused oils. A 1 to 4 ratio creates a salve with a very nice consistency that is not too hard and not too soft either. And you could always adjust this ratio depending on how hard or soft you want your finished salve to be. Okay, so 1 ounce of beeswax to 4 ounces of oil. And remember, this is a common salve making recipe, so you can use any type of herb infused oil which you plan to use topically. Once everything is completely melted, you are almost done. And it is at this point where you can choose to add in a few drops of essential oils. And now it is time to pour your salve into containers. And for this reason, I like to make my mixture in a jar or container that has a spout. It makes things a lot easier and less messy when you get to this point of pouring your finished salve. You want to let it cool and harden in place. Once this is done, you can put the lid on, label, and then store them in a cool, dark place. Proper storage is essential because it helps to extend the shelf life of your finished product. All right, so there it is. We have a beautifully made herbal salve. And like I said earlier, this specific salve is great for minor cuts, burns, bug bites, rashes, and it is also helpful as a spot treatment for acne. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you see now how quick and easy it truly is to make an herbal salve once you have made your herb infused oils. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.